Hey, what's going on, guys? Clutch here. Welcome back to Hazard County. Guys, we are down at the bottom of uh, our main farm here. Just setting up. We got some sheep to go pick up right away here. Sheep! We got some sheep for the far farm. And, uh, well, I had to bring the Ford out. Oh, I, I love the Ford. You know I love the Ford still. Still run the Ford. I know, I know. Uh, I had to bring down our trailer, change some of the racking systems, some of the, uh, the floors up on this so we can get all the sheep in there. We had the pigs in there before. Bit of a different system. It's still, for the most part, the same, but it had to be all cleaned out, of course. So uh, we're just down over here cleaning cleaning things out, getting things set up, and we're good to go now. So we'll head out, go pick up these sheep today, bring them up to the farm, and then, you know what, we got to figure out, we got to feed them as well. I've cut, I was waiting for that hay to make that we cut the other day. It's ready to go now, I think. So we can close this on up. Got our trailer pressure washer in there. More on that later on. Perfect. Cool, guys. Let's go uh, Let's go get some sheep. We need some wool. I don't know if we're going to get any wool from before the winter, but you never know. Let's, uh, let's take them out there. Shall we do it? Let's do it. Bitter batter. Simulations. All right, downtown Hazard County. Things are looking good. You can see where we cut the ditches there to kind of get rid of some of that grass the other day. It's all turned to hay, so that's a good sign. That means uh, all the hay up top at the other farm should be there as well. It's been nice and dry. We've had very little water in the last little bit here. Um, come on, dude. Don't let me pass. Don't tell me to turn. Don't turn. Don't turn. Don't turn. Go straight. Go straight. Go straight. Go straight. Oh, no. Darn it. I gotta pass him. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys are doing well. It's uh, a Monday, I believe, when this video is going to be released. But I hope you guys are having a fantastic Monday. I know. Don't say it, Clutch Monday. I hate Mondays. Monday, it's okay. Get over it. It's fine. It'll be okay. We'll get through it. Uh, we're still trying to get over the whole Christmas. Whoa, watch out for this. The Christmas hangover around here, I find. I don't know. I'm having a tough time getting past it this year. <laughs> it just seems like it's dragged on a little bit. Things are. T I mean, it's. I guess it's been a good week since everything should be back to normal now. It really doesn't feel like it's been a week yet for me oh man i'm still i'm still struggling a little bit to get back on schedule here i'm not gonna lie still fighting it um anyways we're heading back up north way up to well our uh our repo farm up there we uh we auction got an auction for next to nothing and uh that farm well it's got a, a sheep a couple sheep pastures well no, just the one sheep paddock that's right just the one we got some chickens up there as well chickens are looking good but we had no sheep yet i wanted to get some sheep before the fall so that's what we're doing we're getting sheep today and uh, we'll load up that pasture now there is a nice this the, the purchase point for the sheep out here on hazard county is right up beside that farm almost which actually might have worked out perfect for some of us uh, it's like right there you know, it's pulled by this guy too well everyone's going so slow today what's going on i think it's sunday drivers not monday but uh yeah they've got the the sheep had their the sheep sale point is right up top there the dealership is right there as well they buy wool right there as well which is perfect nice and easy take it nice and easy no one coming, no one coming. Let's go. But oh, we can beat this guy. He's going nice and slow. Watch over this ditch. It's a good hiding spot, but that's about it. All right, go. So, yeah, everything's nice and close down here. Easy uh, easy place for us to buy and sell. I wish I didn't need to bring this trailer all the way up there. There was an easier way. We, I, I, I could almost grab a horse and just herd them across the road, basically, and <laughs> bring them in. Now, there is something we need to do. Some herding. That would be actually okay. I'd be okay with that. Herding in farm sim? What do you guys think? Would, would you be in? I don't know. That seems like an interesting idea. Um, I still would like to have some bigger pastures, personally. That's something I would like to see. All right, go, go, go. Whoa, watch out for that car. <laughs> All right, and here we go. Uh, I think it's Cooters has got this place. The sheep sale is right in here. Oh, man, I guess this is going to be a tight turn, boys. Let's uh, take her nice, nice and easy. Ford can handle this. Cranker now, right at the last second. Miss that post. And then straighten her out. Oh, man. Oh, it's Cletus's. That's right. Cletus's sheep. I always forget if it's Cletus's or Cooter's. It's all the same. All right. And right down here is the pasture where we're going to bet him from. We'll just back on in. And you can see here, this is the uh, the warehouse where we get to sell our wool from. So like I said, guys, both of them are nice and close. They're both so close. Back this on up. Oh, I didn't get that enough. We're going to have to jackknife the heck out of this. Come on. You know what? We'll have to grab in the grass a sec here. Come on, get over there. There we go, there we go, there we go. Best driver in farm sim, that's right. Cool. Anyways, we're going to get these sheep, and literally across the road almost. Uh, let's see if I can get this just kind of lined up a little bit better here for you. Perfect, right there. Uh, our farm literally is, well, if you look past it, down past that gas station down there, that is our farm. Uh, this is the uh, the cell phone tower. We kind of followed up from the woods that one day when we got lost, actually. <laughs> All right, sheep are loaded up. We got 38 of these little babas, and uh, they're ready to go to the farm. Let's take them out. 
thing back there. Now, we've gone with a breed uh, that are the door sets, is what the breed is called. And uh, the idea behind those ones, or what I was thinking was, they're not the fastest growing or the biggest sheep. They do produce, they're kind of a mid-range almost. They produce a decent amount of wool, but uh, nothing, not the most. They also don't grow the fastest. They grow in the middle range, somewhere in that range. They're not great for, uh, for they're not great for meat. They're not great for wool, but they're kind of in the middle. And they also grow to like the medium size. I didn't want them to be uh, the full the full size ones. I didn't want the, the massive sheep just because then I'm stuck worrying about feed constantly for them. And uh, when we're way out, kind of on the outskirts here of the county, I didn't want to have to really concern myself constantly with it. If I only get up here every couple of days, or every three or four days, it should hold I think two days worth of food. Um, it'd just be easier on me not to have to worry about it as much. So we went with a smaller breed that uh, doesn't get quite as big, but at the same time we don't quite, uh, we won't get the meat from them obviously, or as much wool, depending on exactly how we want to do with that. So anyways, a decent sized breed, but still uh, not the, the biggest by any means. But, let's unload these, we'll get them fed, we gotta get them watered. I think we already got them some water in the trough, I think I, I did that beforehand, if memory serves me correctly. Oh man, they are nice and easy in here, looks like we've got, do we have some, oh, yeah, there's the hay down there, we gotta pick that up as well. So that is really what we'll be doing today, we're gonna grab that hay, and uh, load that into our barn there. And here comes the lovely test of trying to back this trailer through that gate. Oh yeah, I can handle this. No problem, right? Right? I, honestly, this will be a first take. I promise. <laughs> uh, I sure hope so now. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Crank her over. Nice. Think we're clear? Yeah, we're clear. You can only do it with first person. That'd be nice. Oh, watch out for that, that fence post. All right, excellent. Looks good to me, guys. I mean, it'd be nice if it was a bit more of a straighter shot to get in here, but I'll take that. Cool, we got the ramp set up there. Let's go open this up. We'll get our sheep out into the pen, and then we'll start worrying about food. Cool, all right, so sheep are good to go. I'm gonna jump this fence here. Perfect. You can see uh, over the side tank, or the side pen here, they look like they're all good. Hey guys, welcome to your new home. Nice, make me some wool, would you? Hurry up, grow some of that stuff. Uh, all right, so we got one of our feeding troughs here, which I've already dumped some grass into that we had the other day uh, that I picked up just to pick it up. And we've got water. Oh, there's no water. Oh, there's some water in here. Let's uh, let's fill this trough up, though. Let's get this going. Perfect. Get that water going in there. We'll fill that trough right on up. Perfect. So we already got food. They've already got water, guys. This is uh, this is awesome. Actually, you know what? Let's run over the chickens here quickly. Oh yeah. Um, chickens got water, but they could use some feed. I'm a little uh. A little lackluster on the feed side. I better feed these guys right away. I'm gonna go take care of that. I can't believe it. Eh, they're still. Eh, just kind of forgot about them a little bit. It's okay. It's almost out. In fact, I think it might completely be out. We'll take care of that right now. Unfortunate, but at least this is something I can quickly take care of here with our rack that we got built up. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using this rack for too too much longer. Of course, we've got this silo built there. That uh, is my master plan for that. Oh oh, oh don't go that too far. Awesome. Yeah, we got the silo built in behind there. Once we get some wheat uh, that's not in bags, we'll obviously dump it into there. I'm hoping, actually, this field right here, I think this is a, is it barley here or wheat? I'll probably use that field and just dump that into the silo. That's that's my master plan for that, at least. Cool. All right, let's go dump this around the other side. Make sure we dump this in the right spot this time, because last time I might have dumped this in the wrong spot. I didn't do anything. Let's not do that again. <laughs> and away we go. Perfect. We can get rid of this whole thing. Oh man, this is a, a lot. Yeah, no problem at all. And she's gone. Perfect. Cool. All right, guys. Well, um, you know what? I might go grab another another one of those big bags and dump that in there. I think it, it'll take two of them, so I might as well grab another one and get done. And uh, then we'll get into that hay. We'll do some haying. All right, so we got our little pioneer loading wagon hooked back up here. The uh, with the pickup wagon. Now I'm running into a bit of an issue. Um, I picked this up. The stuff I picked up here, I just picked up a little bit. And of course, it's grass, not hay. It does not turn to hay since it's in our trailer. Eh, I can still use it, but I can't store any of this stuff in our barn right there. I don't have a hay dryer, so I'm stuck with it, leaving this as grass. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to dump this into a nice little heap right here. And we'll try to use this first, is my plan. We'll try to use all this stuff first. And then later on, um, we'll worry about the hay. I'll use the grass up first. If we get any rain, of course, this is going to dis deteriorate on me. But there's nothing I can really do about that, guys. I think I'm stuck with leaving this here for the time being. Uh, well, what do you do? It, it, minor, minor miss. It's not a big deal. And if it rains, it disappears. It's not the end of the world. I just lose that grass. Eh, what do you do? We're good. We got lots of hay. And uh, we, should, we should be fine, right? I think. I hope. I think we're going to get lots of hay out of this. There seems like there's quite a bit in that field over there. And I don't think the sheep are going to go through all that much. I think we're going to be okay. 
Oh man, I'm sure we're gonna be okay. <laughs> still in confidence in anybody right now, am I? And let's do our best not to end up in the drink. Not that that's ever, ever even been close for me to happen before. Just, you know, just in case. Drop the, the <laughs> drop the head down. Fire it up. Let's go. Awesome. All right. Um, does this go offset? No, it's straight on. It's straight on. It's straight on. Awesome. I really do like this old loading trailer, guys. This thing is so cool. It's very sweet. Um, just in case you were wondering, I do have the mod list fairly up to date on this uh, this playthrough. So if you're one of the ones asking for mods, look at this for the stuff I've, that I've been using in the Hazard County playthrough. That one you'll find all there. So go check out ClutchSimulations.com. Links is in the description, and you can find information on all the uh, the mods that I'm using on this playthrough. For the most part, I think I've got most of them on there. There might be a couple I'm missing, but I try to keep it up to date. And uh, well, it's been going pretty good so far lately. If I'm missing one, let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to help you out there. Or you can always join our Discord and uh, ask some of the guys. There's someone on the Discord may know which mod or what's available. Wow, look at all the hay we're gonna have here. Craziness. Anyways, we've got a little bit of hay to pick up, guys. So you know what? I think it's time for Speedy. Let's do this. And first load coming in right now. Let's uh, dump this off into our into our hay barn here. Nice. And make sure this goes in properly. Unfortunately, yeah, the grass will not work here. That's too bad. But uh, I kind of I knew that going in. To be perfectly honest, I knew that that wasn't going to be a working option. But of course, the hay that works just perfectly fine. Excellent. We'll fill this barn up with his, all that. I mean, there's a lot left there. I didn't even get one round done there, and uh, we already got this much out. So. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a quite a bit of hay. I think we got lots of food for our sheep for the winter. Cool. Let's get back at her. headway we're heading down over the ridge here now oh man this is going to be a little sketchy i don't think i'm going to have oh yeah we're going to be filling up just as we come off the crest uh this is going to be interesting all right we'll uh we'll take this easy nice and slow here all right we're full whoa we're full easy 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 oh come on no no no, no. easy nice. <laughs> all right um now should i even bother trying to get you know what? we'll come back and we'll, we'll do it i want to try to see if we can get this old wagon down the hill I think we can do this, guys. I think we can grab that stuff down there. But uh, we need to go unload this stuff first. Now, we've got ton quite a bit of hay. I think this is like my fourth fourth trailer full, I think. Maybe fifth, even. Um, we've been pulling quite a bit from this field. We've pulled everything off that's up on top here. We just have this last little section down here, and we'll be done. Not bad. I mean, that's, that's going to be enough hay, I think, for the winter. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty confident that'll be more than enough. Uh, what are we, 15,500? And, yeah, you know what? Each trailer on that, that little trailer we have, I think, is an 8,000 liter trailer, so... I think it should be okay. Yeah, looking at my math in my head, a couple, a couple of those every two days, I think we should be just fine. Considering those, uh, those what is it, what, how much grass did we put in there to begin with? I, it was next to nothing. Another quick dump and back to work already. This thing unloads pretty quick, actually. Oh, man, I've never, most loading wagons. All right, so we're going to do this with an empty trailer because uh, I don't want the extra weight to try to get back up the hill. If I'm going to try and pick up, up the hay down below, I want to make sure that of course I'm as light as possible to get back up. Um, the case is it's not underpowered, but I need to be shy at 200. And we're not looking for power at this It's not the most powerful tractor in the world, so I don't want to push the limits. I don't want to push the boundaries here if I don't need to. I really don't need to. Right? We're nice and easy. We're good. Nice. Perfect. 
Brakes are good. Got this hit. I think it's really point really even. <laughs> I mean, is there really any point? But you know what? We're doing it because we can. All right, let's spin this thing around. Oh man, this looks so steep from down here, guys. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Pulling this trailer is going to be a fight. Glad I unloaded, that's for sure. All right, this looks straightened out. Come on, baby. Get up there. Hold. Oh, come on. Get going. Come on. She's struggling. Get up there. Come on. She's sliding. You can see those tires just kind of losing grip a little bit. Come on. Get going. A little bit more. <laughs> Ah, come on. I know you can do this. Get up there. Get up there. Come on. I don't know if I crank it over, maybe left and right, if that's going to give me a little bit more traction. Just, just underpowered. Just a little bit underpowered. But you know what? It's still crawling. We're still crawling up this hill. I mean, look at how steep this hill is. This is ridiculous. Come on. Get going. So close. I think we're going to be okay. It just kind of crawls up there. And as soon as we get close to the top here, we should be good. Come on. Nice. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, let's, let's let off the throttle here for a second. I need to see uh, how I'm going to load this now. You know what I could have done there, actually? Um, I could have turned off the, uh, the loading wagon. And that would have given me a little bit more horsepower. I should have done that. But then I wouldn't have... There was nothing really to pick up there. Like, oh, easy. Easy stop. <laughs> That was a little that was a little sketch, guys. That was a little sketch. He almost came back down. Get over there. It just now when I want to hit hit the uh, the accelerator, she just kind of goes for a, a bit of a jump forward. Cool. All right, we got the tough part done. <laughs> uh, yeah, I could have done uh, disengaged the uh, the loading wagon, and that would have given me actually considerably more horsepower. It would have been no problem to climb it then. I should have done that. Anyways, too late now. It did what I needed to do. I wonder if I could have done it with the full load though. I seriously don't think. I would have made that hill if I would have had much more grass and much more hay in the back of this wagon. I think I would have been SOL for sure. I would have had to uh, disengage or back it down or something. And backing a trailer down like that size with this little tractor, I don't know. I don't know how that would have turned out for us. That's something I really don't want to find out. <laughs> we got her done. We're good. All right, so we'll finish this off. Like I said, we'll probably, I don't know if we can get one more trailer out of this. It should fill this one up. It looks like rough guesstimation here. I think we're going to fill this one up and then uh, we'll finish that off and dump it back into that. But you know what? We're looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy for our, our sheep. This farm is looking good up here. I just need to sell this farm. So maybe in the spring we'll be able to sell this off to someone get rid of it because I don't want to be... Uh, I really don't want to have two farms on my hand. I've got enough going on down at the main farm. Last load loaded up. That's all we got. Everything has been picked up off these fields. Eh, not bad, guys. I'm, I've got more than... Uh, actually, kind of more than I expected. I'll take it. I think we've got about six or seven full loads. Uh, so that should definitely last. I'm, I'm not worried anymore at all. I think this is going to be more than enough. And even if we sell this off, you know what? Nice little bonus uh, for whoever buys this farm from us. Anyways, that looks pretty good. Let's go unload this off. And uh, you know what? Let's get over back into town. We'll grab some lunch for the day. Maybe get to work down the main farm. We've got some cleaning up to do there. Getting ready for harvest. So it's almost harvest season. It's time to start prepping that stuff. Look, I'm hoping uh, I'm hoping for some good yields this year. Really hoping for some good yields. we got to get back on our feet for sure. I got some brown water I should sell, to be honest with you. I would, uh, I would definitely help stoke the bank account up a little bit. Perfect. All right, well, let's go dump this off uh, and call it a day, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. As always, of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you did enjoy, of course. Don't forget to do that. That is deeply appreciated if you do it. And other than that, I will chat with you guys next time. This is Clutch from Hazard County. Over and out. Uh -huh.